All right, so if you're here, you're probably looking for a trimming solution for body or pubic hair. I have some good news for you. That task is very simple and does not require a lot of your trimmer. So if you want a good pubic body hair trimmer, look for something that has a great blade and then a limited guard range. So something that's kind of between one and maybe four millimeters is about the right range that you're gonna to wanna to cut in. Trimming pubic and body hair is very easy and doesn't require a lot. So you don't necessarily need a big fancy trimmer to do it. It's just kind of doing those basic things right. We're gonna get into the Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. We are going to cover things about this trimmer that are different from the previous ones in the Manscaped line, how it stacks up to other trimmers in general, and if or if not, this is the right trimmer for you. So here we go. What are the differences between this trimmer and let's just say the 4.0, for example? Number one, the blade. This one has a full metal backed blade on it, whereas the older versions have kind of a plastic frame. They've moved to a two button system on the 5.0, where one of the buttons is the travel lock and then uh, a light adjustment. And then probably one of the more important ones, they did put a USB-C charging port right on the front of this one where the 4.0 was induction only, which I definitely thought was annoying, kind of needing the cradle to charge. The other real difference is that it includes this foil blade. Let's get into some of those differences, starting with the blade. All right, so I really do like the metal back they put on this blade. It just has a nice solid feel to it. I will point out too, not a lot of people have noticed or mentioned this, but the very ends of the rake on this blade have been rounded off. They added these kind of little round ball type things at the end. And I think they did this in order to make it sort of look and feel a little bit smoother and safer than their previous blades. And it certainly does feel slightly smoother as you run your finger across it. But I can say looking at it that it's not going to be any different when it comes to snagging and cutting skin because the blade still works in the same way. And just as skin can get caught in the 4.0 blade, it can certainly get caught in the 5.0 blade. So I think there was an effort there to kind of live up to that skin safe promise, but I'm not sure that this is totally gonna to solve the problem because like with any trimmer, you can cut yourself. So I think the responsible thing to say here is just use caution when trimming, especially when trimming loose skin. The other difference to note is their foil blade attachment. I use an attachment very much like this back when I tested out the Philips Man Groomer 7000. And I hated this blade when I first tried it. It tugged my skin and hairs, and I found that you're either using the foil part of the shaver or the trimming part. See, it's a foil blade with two little trimmers on either side of it. I can't make any sense of this arrangement. I find that when you're using a blade like this, you're either using it as a foil shaver, so using, you know, having that part of it against your skin, or you can use it as a trimmer. So using these trimmer heads and then using, putting that part against your skin. Putting both styles on one head made no sense to me. I'm not sure why Manscaped jumped on that bandwagon to have these sort of additional trimming heads on here. This is your trimmer head, right? It's this nice ceramic blade, certainly very capable of trimming hair. Let that guy do the trimming. And then this thing could have probably would have been better if it was just a foil shaver. That said, I think there's plenty of room in your grooming tool chest to just use a normal foil shaver if you're gonna do that. That way you're not gonna have these other trimmer blades getting in the way and pulling skin when you're actually trying to do the shaving. I mean, for me, I don't really find a use for this type of foil shaver ever. In your pubic hair or body hair grooming routine, there's probably a lot of different tools that you're gonna wanna use. Maybe it's gonna be like a cartridge razor, Maybe it's a foil shaver like this, and then of course a trimmer. So I think there's room for all of these tools to be used, but this sort of feels like an odd compromise that I just did not find any use for personally. That really is the difference between the 5.0 and then some of the previous versions. This thing does come with a price tag update as well. It's up to about $110 without their subscription plan. So definitely putting it a couple steps above some of their other trimmers really with not a whole lot of change. All right, so here's a few reasons why you may like the Manscaped 5.0. The thing is small and compact, so it would travel very well. It's light, it's easy to hold. Secondly, it does what it says it will do. This is a very capable trimmer for trimming pubic and body hair. It's got a great ceramic blade, and it cuts in kind of that correct short range. Compared to a lot of other trimmers, 
the ceramic blade on the lawnmower trimmers is a very good blade. So here's a few reasons why you may not like the Manscaped 5.0. Number one would be a fairly crappy guard system. So their guard system sort of slides on from the top and it's supposed to have multiple adjustments in these clicks that it does up and down. What I've found is that when you're pushing this thing, it very often gets jammed sideways and really frustrating um, just not having any idea where you're at in this click range. I think the best way to use this guard is just to shove it all the way down and kind of use it at that lowest setting. For a trimmer like this, definitely could be better with guards. Another reason why you may not like the Manscaped lawnmower is the less than adequate battery life. This trimmer says it will either run up to 60 minutes or up to 90 minutes, depending on where you see that information. I haven't actually tested it, but either way, they could definitely do a lot better with that. There is not a huge battery inside here. And I think having a longer battery life is super important for a trimmer, so not the best with battery life. Also, with the with any trimmer in the Manscaped series, you may get stuck in a subscription program that you do not need or want, so always use caution when buying a Manscaped product. There is no reason that you want to regularly replace a ceramic blade. They last for a long time, and they're great, so not something you want to just throw away all the time. Since I didn't say it before, and I know you're going to be asking, the blades and the guard between the 5.0 and lower models are not compatible. It's a different blade, different guards, they don't mix, so sorry about that. So the last reason that you may not like the Manscaped 5.0 is that this thing is way more expensive than similar trimmers. So there are a ton of trimmers on the market that are really good at trimming body and pubic hair. So why buy the Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0? And the simple answer is you probably shouldn't. This thing is priced about $110, which is significantly more than a lot of other very capable body and pubic hair trimmers. Just for quick reference, this Phillips Man Groomer 7000, I think is about 60, so almost half the price and has the same little funny foil shaver blade. If you are just looking for pubic hair only, I would recommend the Meridian's original trimmer. I think it's about $50, and it does all the basics that this lawnmower is going to do for you in terms of cutting hair really short, kind of simple on off button, no frills, gets the job done kind of thing. Not gonna have a full range, not gonna be doing any other trimming, just body hair. Another way to look at this too is if you are looking to trim body hair, there's, there's really two ways to solve the problem. One is to buy a fairly inexpensive trimmer like this Meridian, just have the trimmer to do that. Another one is to buy kind of a full featured, full range trimmer that's gonna last a little bit longer, and then potentially just switch out the blades if that's something that bothers you. So if you get a trimmer like the Beardscape, which is the same price as a trimmer like the Manscaped 5.0, this way you can do anything from beards to stubble, facial hair, haircuts with that full range. You can even snap on uh, the zero blade to cut super short. So you can go that route too if you have more things to trim than just pubic hair. All right, so quick recap. Who is this for? Uh, who should buy the Manscaped 5.0? I probably wouldn't recommend this trimmer to anyone. I think that if you're going to be trimming just pubic and body hair and are looking for a simple trimmer, even stepping down to the 4.0 or spending a little less on the Meridian, I think the Meridian is a great trimmer, very simple trimmer, easy to use, does the same functions, will give you the same results as the $110 lawnmower trimmer. I don't think that anyone is gonna see a lot of value in the foil head shaver blade. I do think that their metal blade is a bit of an upgrade and I do like it better, but I don't think that it justifies the price increase. So if you are looking for sort of a full body trimmer, one that can do haircuts, beard, stubble, anything you wanna do, Check out the Brewer Beardscape. It is also $110, uh, but has a lot more functions and range, especially with the adjustable blade. We also have additional blades for the Beardscape. So if you're someone who doesn't want to use the same trimmer on your pubic hair, body hair as your face, you can get a separate blade. We have something called the Body Blade, which is also ceramic adjustable blade. If you wanna cut very, very short, if that's your look or need to trim certain areas very short, instead of getting another trimmer, like for example, a specialty trimmer like the Phillips One Blade, you can get the Zero Blade, which is a fixed blade set to cut at 0.2 millimeters. Hope this video was helpful. If you wanna see a more detailed comparison of the Lawnmower 5.0 versus the Beardscape, check out that in our other video. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching.